I don't necessarily remember a time in my life where I wasn't either singing or performing in some way. Um, even before I started doing it seriously, I have these memories of when I was a kid of always loving to sort of be at the center of attention. And so I think there's sort of an innate thing within me to be a performer and to be in music. And in many ways too now after being in it professionally for almost 10 years, um, going through times where I was going to stop writing music and stop doing it. Um, I think now I realize that I don't have a choice to be a musician. It's uh, it just, it will, it will always be there. I will always be doing music no matter what's going on in my life. I cannot hold my tongue. You give me much to say. I'm sweating bullets. Nervous that you'll push away. And when your eyes catch mine, I know I talk too much. So give me it was really hard um, to get dropped by my label when I was 15 um, because after you know that initial drop um, from the label I ended up losing my management team our publicist our agent um, everyone within my camp and people who I had gotten really close to they all left and it was hard for me to, you know, sort of relate the two things of, okay, I love playing music, I love playing the piano, and then there's this other world of it, the industry side of it, that's really hard to navigate and, and quite difficult sometimes. Um, but I think I'm stronger because of those challenges now. Um, and what's funny too is being 21 years old and, and creating music and now after portraits, I'm starting to realize that my goals in music are much different than they were back in the past. Um, I'm a lot more focused on just internal happiness. Um, I think I don't really care anymore about uh, critics or you know what people think about my music. I just want to play uh, what feels good to me at the moment. Um, so whether that be playing for a lot of people in a room one night or playing for five or six people in a bar the next, um, I just want to tell my story uh, the best way I know how to do it. CBN, which is technically my second home here in Manila. I've been coming to these studios since I was very, very young, and we are about to do a lot of press and a lot of promo with these guys. Filipino kid, you a nasty punk. Smoking them six, smoking all them blunts. M6 riding, and we got that cash. Rock that Ted Bundy looking ass. <laughs> my name is Grayson Chance, and I'm on an elevator. <laughs> How much are you worth today? One minute. Never a dull moment. The biggest thing that separates portraits from my past work and the reason why I refer to it as my debut record um, is there was a degree of separation between who I really was and sort of what was being marketed out um, and expressed out when I was younger. But Portraits is the first time that I've 
really express myself in an honest way and was really not afraid of, you know, sort of eliminating the walls around me and letting people in um, to hear the stories that I went through last year. You know, there's a line in Seasons where uh, I say I thought that night on 44 was the end. I wish that he would love me in the way that I loved him. I remember writing that feeling so vulnerable uh, when I saw those lyrics on the page and, and I said, you, you have to do this, you have to put it in the song. It's what the fans deserve, it's what the record deserves. Um, so there's a level of honesty that uh, has never been around in my work that's present in it now. It feels surreal to have taken that time off and to have gone to college and really devoted myself to saying, I'm not gonna go back to music again, that, that was it. Um, and to now come back and to see that, first off, that people still care, um, but to also be in this position that I'm in now in my career, um, it feels incredibly surreal. And I don't think I ever envisioned it for myself. Um, even when we were writing the record, um, I, I don't think I ever imagined a result like this. And being able to play last night in the Philippines and after having Manila be my last gig before I went to school when I was 18, um, to be back now playing this album, um, it truly felt like a dream or an, an hallucination in a way. Um, it was really magical. And darling, be careful this part of me that you don't know And darling, be gentle with me When you tell me that you need to go And if you should miss me, don't come Don't tell me, just leave me alone Cause you cut me wide open Left teardrops on all my if your fans are here with you in this room, what will you tell them? Um, I would tell them first off that they're crazy for sticking around for almost 10 years. <laughs> um, but I would also tell them that I'm so thankful that they did. Um, it's the connection I share with them. And, you know, even last night, I think you saw I wanted to hold everyone's hand um, just so we could sort of feel that physical bond because. I, I feel so connected to them and they drive me to continue to do what I do. And last night a lot of people in Manila told me, they said, please don't stop because if you stop, I'm gonna, you know, I, I need your music to get through. And I'll remember that um, when I'm feeling weak on certain days. Hi Grayson. Hi Grayson. Hi Grayson. Hey Grayson. Hi Grayson. I'm very proud of what you've accomplished since 2010 until now. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for inspiring me always. You are truly an inspiration for everyone. I'm so happy and so proud of you and all of your achievements. We're all very happy that you enjoyed the pride installation that we did during your show. We'll never stop supporting you until the Please don't stop and write the songs. We'll always be waiting for you and we'll always be here to support you. Enjoy your tour. Have a happy heart always. Happy birthday! Advanced happy birthday. Um, advanced happy birthday. So we love you very much. I love you so much. We love you and we hope to see you next year. I'll see you in 2020. Love you. I love you. Bye. Bye. But now it's just Hey everyone, I'm Grayson Chance and welcome to the Portraits World Tour.